friends, I'm Randy Eager with Strategic Storm Internet Marketing. We make money for agents through enhanced internet marketing and social media productivity so that you don't have to. Welcome to our Understanding the Best of Social Media Marketing webinar. In this webinar, we'll be learning blogging and social media secrets. If you want to have an effective internet marketing campaign, you're going to need to know your way around the various Web 2.0 social media outlets. Now, if you haven't had a chance to get the link to the handout, you can go to strategicstorm.com slash handouts slash socialmarketing.pdf. You can also link to the questions area and get this handout at any time during the webinar. To do so now, do so now as the handout contains most of the slides that I'll be showing. So let's get started this way. What you'll learn today. Now let's learn the four main areas of focus for today. The first thing that we'll learn will be using the social media services for collecting and or categorizing. It's all about replacing the old-fashioned bookmarking system of the web browsers. More will be discussed on tagging, the benefits of social bookmarking, and how search engines will play all this. We'll talk about communities and how conduits like real estate forums can not only answer questions, but also establish you as the expert of choice. You'll soon see how forums will be one of your most powerful tools to increase your business. In addition to communicating, we'll take a look at connecting up with others using different social networks and how to develop a database used to increase sales. Specifically, we'll look into various social networks such as Facebook, LinkedIn, and other SMS or short message services such as Twitter. And we'll then turn an eye to the huge area of communicating. With the advent of the Web 2.0 came the capabilities of conversation rather than just advertising. The conduit that we'll look at most will be the area of the blog site. While the blog site was originally just text, we'll look at how it's branched out into podcasts, video blogging, and video sharing. But more importantly, we'll look at how to use it as a tool to increase the visibility of not only your blog, but your website as well. A more visible website and blog means more leads. What has the traditional marketing been in the past? It's been what we call outbound marketing. Take, for example, television advertising. Now, I don't watch television commercials because I DVR all the shows I want to watch and then watch them at my convenience and skip through the commercials. Radio advertising. I don't know when I listen to the radio last, but when I'm in the car, maybe I'll listen to it and I have my iPod set up to be able to listen to hundreds of my favorite musical numbers by my favorite artists with no commercial interruption. Newspaper advertising. Now one of the least effective print mediums right now are newspapers. While I still subscribe to a newspaper, I only skim the front pages and read the sports page. Newspapers are old information. If anything noteworthy is happening, it's on the internet with full detail. In fact, most newspapers, in order to stay alive, have had to go to an internet forum to compete. Letters and postcard advertising. What do we call this? That's right, junk mail. I don't read this either, and neither do you. Email marketing. With email marketing, some things I don't mind getting and other things I do mind getting. Therefore, I have a spam filter that filters out all my unwanted emails. Telemarketing advertising. 
With call screening, I can screen out anyone who wants to call me that I don't know or anonymous callers that I know are going to waste my time. Each of these outbound marketing tools are not only more expensive, but getting more and more ineffective every day. Why? Well, the idea has always been to try to hit the customer over the head with a message. The trouble is, the more of you that push your message back across these mediums, the more they push back. Now let's take a look at the new inbound medium tools, which include social media marketing. Look at all the ways you now have to attract your prospects to you and your message. RSS feeds, YouTube, SEO marketing, Dig marketing, Twitter messaging, and LinkedIn and Facebook social media marketing. Rather than outbound or push marketing, this marketing is inbound or pull marketing. Said a different way, this type of marketing pulls in your prospect like a magnet, if done correctly that is. And the biggest benefit of this type of marketing is it is less expensive and more effective than outbound marketing. How to start with social media is very simple. Just jump right in. Start with these three since they're the most popular. Twitter can be found at twitter.com. Facebook can be found at facebook.com. And LinkedIn can be found at linkedin.com. Each is very easy to sign up and register. Now that you're a member of these social societies, let's understand how to interface with those now that you are socializing with them. The one thing that's a little different with these or with this cocktail party idea, however, is that it's really held without time or space constraints. In fact, it's a continual 24-7 ongoing party that never ends. Plus, you can come and go whenever you feel like it. Here's some tips when socializing. Network with people and build trust. This, above all, is the primary objective. If you can build trust with a large number of people, they will want to do business with you. You don't even have to talk with everyone personally as many will just watch your conversations. Ask what they're doing and say what you're up to. The prime objective here is to remember what people love to talk about and they love to talk about themselves. If you let them, they'll consider you a good listener and confident. Ask questions and trust others' advice. Not only is it okay to ask questions, but it helps with gaining communications with others. And build a reputation. The best way to do this is to answer other people's questions. If you're knowledgeable in the area that they're asking questions, you'll be seen as knowledgeable and gain a positive reputation. The secret to getting started with social media marketing and to take away the fear that most people have is to listen. Then listen some more. Then, when you're ready, start building relationships by conversing and sharing information with those common interests. So, listen, listen some more, build relationships, and then share your content when you feel confident. Okay, plus let's take a look at phase one. It's collecting and categorizing your websites. What we're going to deal with here is the new way to collect, categorize, and organize sites on the internet. Rather than clicking on that bookmark icon with your web browser, we're going to see how to do it intelligently with tagging. 
social bookmarking, and search engines. Now, users categorize online items by keyword. This includes photos, websites, or videos, and share their selections and tags with others. Now, these are sometimes known as folksonomies, or otherwise known as collaborative tagging, or social classification, social indexing, and social tagging. About 28% of Internet users have tagged or categorized online content, such as photos, news stories, or blog posts. And this data was as of two years ago. And don't forget Dewey and his decimals. Internet users are revolutionizing the way we classify information and make sense of it. Examples of tagging and social bookmarking tools. The most popular is probably delicious. Users categorize and share favorite web bookmarks. Furl is another one. You can save a copy of any web page, share it with others, and store and organize all your bookmarks. Reddit, Dig are others that are user generated news links, and news stories. Other users vote on their favorite story to promote stories to the front page. So the more digs, the higher you go. You can use Delicious to organize your library website's links page. Use it to share links with staff or work on staff team projects. You can also add links from your website directly to these tagging sites so that users can automatically tag them. The links are usually graphics that look like this. So what is the value of social bookmarking and what is it? Well, Delicious is a web service for storing, sharing, and accessing your internet bookmarks. Tags allow you to sort through your list in a manner that you wish. Tagging assigns a descriptor or descriptors to web content that you want to remember. Tagging enables keyword-based searches as well. Now, let's see how this works in practicality. Here we can see my delicious account. I've typed into the search tag the words photos. Note that up pops everything to do with photos. And it shows as many different bookmarks as I currently have for the word photos. To demonstrate how social bookmarking works, let's assume that you have in your web browser several different folders that contain real estate related items including short sale properties. We have a tag for short sales in the real estate companies folder or directory. We have one in the banks popular for short sale properties folder or directory and we have tags for short sale in the reference websites. Note that each of these have a different information on short sales or short sale properties, but short sale is the common denominator or short sales is the common tag, if you will. By searching for short sales in Delicious, it looks for all of the folders and directories that we have the tag or information on short sales, and this saves an enormous amount of time from trying to cross-reference manually this same information. So it all goes into one folder for us to see. Phase two, communities. Finally, we get to communities, and with communities, we look at social networking, and it's how we now can look at group information exchanges. It's now easier than ever to get questions answered and to become an expert in your field. With the use of forums, we look at common interests that are built through conversations. 
Our first social network is the broker agent social. It's been very quick to rise and coming from the social network sites has been very big. Note the large number of features including your profile, various apps, messages, connections, and settings. Now this doesn't even include their blog, groups, articles, and polls. The best feature of this site is the ability to catch up on what's new and to be able to comment. Realtown is a more popular real estate social network and is also gaining in popularity. Again, there are a huge array of things that you can do here, including reading articles, joining groups, reading the community, forums, blogs, association, education, and even a store site to purchase real estate related products and services. Again, the real value here is to be able to ask questions for advice and to give advice. Now let's take a look at why we comment on someone else's post and here is the real value of communities. Here we're going to see a post about someone who has complimented me. This is an ideal type of post to comment on but not for the reason that you might think. The first thing that you want to do is to reference the comment by copying part of the text you wish to comment on. Then you're going to write your comment. And now here's where the magic comes in. At the end of your comment you put your signature with your name, company, and most importantly your website and email. Why is this so important? Because it causes a backlink to your website. In other words, you're creating a link back to your website from someone else's site and it's a perfectly legitimate situation. So it is great for your SEO. Now let's take a look at connecting. This is the area in which this section will look at the various uses of social networks, text and instant messaging and other areas. Using social networks, I'm going to even show you briefly how to set up your business using Facebook. So in the early 90s, we started out with websites. Then, at the start of the 20th century or the 2000, the year 2000, we got into the Web 2.0 era and blogging became a big thing. Now, we're at a new level called social media. Now, there are many different social networking services. The one service that seems to be the most prevalent in line with business is LinkedIn. LinkedIn uses the colloquialism of connections. With LinkedIn, you should first build your profile, then download or import any and all people you would like to connect to. However, you may do more than this. You may also join or create groups as well. Another common use is that of sending messages like email. Meetup is a different kind of social media site. With Meetup, you don't meet virtually, but rather plan meetings at physical locations. Town halls, rallies, and family reunions are ideal uses for Meetup. And one of the most popular social media is Facebook. This has all the same utility as LinkedIn with the exception that instead of calling your contacts connections, they're called friends. Facebook is also organized differently as well. It can be used as a very personal and private site or may be used with business in mind. Now let's take a look at that aspect. To create a Facebook page, after login, click the following. 
first of all, you want to select facebook.com slash pages slash create.php right there in green on the page there. From here, you'll have the opportunity to select the radio button entitled Local Businesses. Then from the drop-down box, select Real Estate as the business. And I'm showing you that there in red arrows. Check the authorization box telling Facebook that you have the authority to create this page and then select Create Official Page. Again, those are all the areas that I have selected with red arrows. Now keep in mind that building a Facebook page is more personal than you can create with more of an individual aspect of your life or business. This is why you want to create all business aspects of your life here on this page and your personal or social aspects on your profile page. So again, now by creating this type of page, we have now created a business page, which is separate from your personal or profile page. Now here is a great marketing tip for those of you who want to take advantage of your business page that we just created. If you have a business page and have created a listing through the notes feature, you can create truly marvelous marketing techniques. For this, we're going to use the simple tagging feature. Whether you use the notes feature to create a listing or just create a note or photo in that business or personal page, this marketing tip will still work. Here are the steps. Number one, from your business page, create notes. Number two, now, for the most important step, add a photo or photos of the property to the note. And number three, now click on the photo. Once you've clicked on the photo of your listing or of just the photo of the note, the next screen will look something like this. Normally, you'll be tagging people, but in this case, we'll be tagging the house. Now, a very important point here. Before you go ahead with this marketing tip, make sure of two things. One, that your seller is on Facebook with friends. And two, that you get their approval to market their home on Facebook. Now, click on the Tag This Photo link at the bottom right hand corner of the screen and it may take a, a while depending upon how many friends that you have. But then it will come up and you will select the friends and it will then send out a marketing notification to all these friends. So click on the home itself. When your list of friends comes up, Check the home's owner, click on the tag button, and then click done tagging. Now let's see what we've done. Below is the email notice sent to everyone who is friends with Jim Smith. Note that it shows as having been tagged by Randy Eager. The more friends Jim Smith has, the better the marketing effect. And tagged photos are always opened quickly by their recipients and friends. Why? Well, just ask yourself these questions. Would you be curious to see this photo if you knew Jim Smith? Well, most of you would. And therein lies the advantage of this tip. Plus, because this is on your fan or business page, you're not going to lose the effect of the ad by 
having other posts to your wall force it down below the fold. Okay, now let's take it up a notch. Everything we've seen so far is the basic way that anyone can enter a listing. But for those of you that are a little bit more competitive and like to destroy your competition, I've got something fun for you. Rather than putting together listings like little stick figures, let's paint a canvas like a Monet. Here you see an actual Homes for Sale tab that you can put on your Facebook. It can contain either all your own personal listings, company listings, or as you'll soon see, the MLS as well. We're going to incorporate a click here to see properties and it will include slideshows, multimedia tours, zoom ins, Google Earth which is included, listing or agent details and so forth and much more. Let's show you the magic now of what is available to you by clicking on that blue center area that says click here to see our featured properties button. Note how the agent has put a title, price, and brief description about the property. Even driving directions and social media links are included. You can also always locate the property by the property symbol on the map. But let's say that you'd like to have a different view. For example, I like the hybrid view. What happens when I click on the word hybrid? Boom! <laughs> like this. Now we can see the ocean, trees, streets, canals, parks, and all major highways are marked. Better yet, I like the bird's eye view. How do I get the bird's eye view? I simply click on the words bird's eye view. And what happens? Whoa! We're now hovering just 15 yards above the property with a complete view of the trees, landscaping, lawns, and surrounding neighbors. This software program even allows you the potential to create a search the MLS feature right from your Facebook account. You can have an About Me section, chat box, and much more all built within your existing Facebook account. This is an example of the home page of LinkedIn. And here is where we get into the discussion of how to use these different types of services for marketing. First of all, note that Terry Murphy is giving some great tips with a link to the site. Giving is always welcome on social networking. Then we have Garrett who feels the need to tell us uh, that his dog kept him up all night. Well, if all his messages were like this, it may be cause to delete him. Then Dan Moriarty gives us a favorite quote from Abraham Lincoln. Again, maybe a good reason to keep him on your contacts. Speaking of contacts, let's take a look at the bottom line for having these sorts of accounts in the first place. I can give you the answer why you want them in one word. Influence. With only a few connections, how much influence can you have? Almost none. However, with hundreds or thousands of connections, how much influence can you have? A tremendous amount. Some people say, well, I don't really know them or I don't know them well. When a person asks to be connected or their friend, it doesn't matter. You can always delete them later on for bad behavior. So why accumulate people that you might not know? Well, it all has to do with the six degrees of separation issue. 
let's take a look at how many people I had at the time I did this screen grab. I had 608 people that I knew personally. Now, here's where it gets interesting, because those people have people in their connections. I have almost 69,000 connections available to me just for the asking. I simply ask someone that I know for an introduction and I get it. Doesn't mean that every single time I ask to connect that they're automatically going to be in compliance to connect with me, but I can tell you that most of the time I ask for a connection from any of this 69,000 group of people, they will connect with me. Why? Because I am a rich source of connections to them. Okay, now let's take a big jump from the major and feature-rich social networking sites to something as apparently lightweight as Twitter. You may think that Twitter is just for school kids, and you couldn't be more wrong. While its roots go back to the age of texting, it's currently a major force in social media. Now our first example is Dell Computer with 383,000 followers. Twitter is meant to give out short messages of 140 characters or less called tweets. Company sites don't just answer the question, what are you doing right now? but delve into meaningful information. Starbucks is another great example, a very large company who has immersed itself into the organic Twitter sites. And with almost a half a million followers, Whole Foods is huge. Again, the whole idea is to get your message out there to as many people as possible, to have and influence. Here are some more personal Twitter account examples. Note that there aren't the typical backgrounds, but personalized to you. Now for those of you who are just getting into Twitter and would like to get a little further understanding of the jargon, here's some information for you. For those of you who already know the jargon, I'm just going to blow through this rather quickly. Twitter is a service that people use to shout about what they're doing right now, share ideas and news, and ask for help from others. How do they do that? Through a tweet. A Twitter message is a 140 character update about anything and everything and they do that on what's called a timeline. This is your home page on Twitter and it shows all the messages you send and messages that people you are following send. Now they can send also directly to you through what's called a direct tweet, a personal message to you that only you and the sender can see, like a 140 character email. You can only direct message users that you are following or that are following you. The follow aspect here is where people you follow whose tweets will show up in your timeline. The more people you follow, the more interesting Twitter is. And the opposite of this is followed. These are people who are following your tweets. Protected profiles. You can only see the updates on these profiles if they follow you. The at symbol is a reply to someone's Twitter message. That is, at Smarty, in other words, the person's Twitter name is Smarty, so you put the at symbol in front of that, at Smarty, great intro post with Twitter. RT or retweet. A message that is repeated because someone thinks it particularly good, that is, 
RT at Smarty, a great intro post about Twitter. You see, it's simply taken the previous post and duplicated it. Short URLs. You may need to convert long URLs into short URLs so that they can fit in a message. Short URLs 301 redirects to the actual URL you want to link to. You will use this constantly because many times the URL that you want to link to can be 25 and sometimes 100 characters long and you don't want to take up your entire message just with the URL. The hashtags are used to tag tweets with a theme or event, that is. Hashtag NAR sessions would be used in a tweet so everyone knows it's related to NAR convention sessions. And search feeds. You can use these to keep track of certain words on Twitter. Now let's take a look at the area of communicating. What do we mean by communicate? Well, what we're going to be talking about here is utilizing the blog site with full use of text, sound, photos, and video. In other words, we're going to talk about blogs, podcasts, video blogging, and video sharing. Now, video sharing will be things like YouTube. Blogs are taking over. They're updated instantly and easily from anywhere in the world, and they are rich in multimedia content. In other words, not only can you now put in text, but you can now put in sound, photos, and video. One of the best things about the blog is the conversational aspect of them. You can actually do polling yourself for any questions or controversial topics that you think might generate good traffic. And blogging gives you a voice. It's so nice to not only be able to announce things over the internet, but also to get feedback as well on areas that you'd like to get feedback on. Now the two major backbones, if you will, to build a blog site are these that I'm showing you down below. WordPress, which is typically the largest and the best one, and the other one, which is very simple to use, is Google's Blogger. Both are free. If you'd like to know more about these, just go to either WordPress.com or Blogger.com. Now, blogging is the most recognized example of the new social media, and here are just a few case in points. This is actually a blog site, and this is a blog site. I know they do look like websites, but they're now being built from the backbone of WordPress as a majority. Why are most websites now being built from a backbone of WordPress? Because blog sites are read instead of every two to three months by the search engines. They are indexed every two to three hours. So this makes you much more visible to your viewers. So let's take a look at how these can work. The overall reason for a blog site is not just to make announcements or to be used as a newsletter. It's most appropriately used as a conversational tool. The first tools that you'll notice on almost every blog site is the comment area. Note here that we see no comments. This doesn't mean that she doesn't want comments. It means that there currently exists no comments on the current post. As comments are made, this area will show one comment, two comments, three comments, and so forth. Now, while most agents will have the use of the comments area for their posts, 
not many have the ability to talk live to the agent. With this tool, you can either leave Barbara an email message, use chat live, or leave your phone number to have her call you immediately. Now that's what I call conversational tools. Overall, the blog has many features and tools. It has almost unlimited potential. Consider it like a Swiss Army life with several features, each to be used for a different purpose. For example, you can do your own market research using your blog site. Once you establish an audience for your blog, posting questions can be your most effective way of gaining more exposure. Those who are interested in results of your research will stick around as they'll want to know what your findings are. There are very simple widgets that you can do and use that will run these polls for you. Authority is how much weight or credence is given to your blog site. If you have no one following you, you will have very low authority. On the other hand, if you have many people following you, you gain an authority. And with authority comes more readership as your rankings go higher in the search engines. The one aspect of the blog site is its incredible SEO power. While your website is reviewed and re-indexed by the search engines on the average of every two to three months, as we just mentioned, your blog site is very date sensitive and thus is re-indexed every two to three hours. Now, if you attach a link to your website, it now also gets re-indexed along with your blog site. And this pushes your website and blog site up higher in the search rankings. Your blog site is a natural tool for online press releases. Use this every so often to make announcements about your locale, market, interest rates, and so forth. This makes you the authority of your market and one whose site people will gravitate. As we have mentioned, your blog site is a conversational tool as well as a great networking tool and communications tool. While the largest website search engine is Google, the largest blog search engine is a site called Technorati. Getting found in Technorati is just as important as getting found in Google. In fact, depending upon the information, getting found in Technorati can even be more important than Google. The nice thing is that most agents are still not using blog sites to their full potential. And thus, this area is ripe for usage. One of the best things that you can do for yourself is to create video testimonials on your blog site. Just as any of your buyers and or sellers, if you could do this and they will say sure. Ask them for an interview with the information about how you help them sell their home or how you help them find a home. You'll be surprised what people will say when you put a video camera in their face. Photo sharing is another great tool that anyone can use and it's also free. The amazing thing to me is how most agents still are not using such social media as Flickr. Note how this agent has put photos of his listing in Phoenix on this service. With so little competition right now, you'll have the bulk of the viewers. All right, now that we're understanding that we can create content, how do we promote it on the social media networks? 
Well, first of all, we can promote it through social bookmarks, such as the following services. Each has a slightly different application and use, but all are used to proliferate popular content to others. How about your video content? Note how you'll see some duplication sites here, such as Twitter, StumbleUpon, and Facebook, due to their depth of utility. You probably know that you can share your listings walkthroughs on YouTube, but did you know that you can do it on Rever and Flickr as well? Social marketing. Did you know that this can be done to promote your content as well. We again can go back through Twitter, StumbleUpon, Facebook, and many other areas to promote things such as magazine articles if they have been created about you. All of these sites, Dig and Delicious, are the largest ones and can add a huge number of links back to your site if you have the right content. Now, I've mentioned both Flickr and YouTube as image hosting and sharing sites. You should know that while Flickr will host both photos and video, YouTube is currently only a video sharing service. Now let's take a look at syncing all your posts together. In other words, one post and multiple outlets. We can do this with either our text feeds or our video feeds. First of all, your normal text feeds. These can all be synced together. And what we're using here is a program called Ping. And this is what it looks like on Twitter, Facebook, Facebook pages, LinkedIn, and more. So this is input once, output many times. Notice that I have put in a message and it shows it is currently posting to Twitter, currently posting to Facebook, currently posting to Facebook pages, and so on and so on and so on. Well, how about the video side? The video side can also be synchronized as well through our YouTube. Once it goes into YouTube, note that it can be synchronized to Facebook, Twitter, and all these other social media areas. Automatically, you don't have to go in and put it into all the others. Well, let's have a review of what we've talked about so far. The four C's. Collect and categorize. This includes tagging, social bookmarking, and search engines. We then talked about communities, which is forums, common interest groups, and built through conversations. We then ended at connect. Connecting includes social networks, mobile text messaging, and instant messaging like Twitter. And finally, we talked about communicating with blogs, podcasts, video blogging, and video sharing. Internet marketing has been left to the elite. Top agents understand the two facets of Internet marketing. First, they have optimized websites, making them visible to their prospects on Google. Second, they have compelling websites that make the prospect want to stay and give their information. The vast majority of these agents use the gold SEO plan. It puts their website at the top of Google. And just some of the features in the gold SEO plan are blog site creation and optimization, social bookmarking site submissions, competitor research analysis, link building, plus 15 more optimization features. For years, this has been our most popular SEO plan at $35.95, but it's yours for a limited time if you mention this video for only $19.95. But that's not all. Here's another idea. 
allow me to introduce the Power Site, the Feature Perfect website, the first website to put the power of a 10-year study finding the 20 most compelling website features to get you leads leading to sales. The Power Site is the most feature-rich, compelling website on the market today. Some of the features in the Power Site include the Gold SEO Plan. That alone is a $3,600 value. A professional rotating feature property slideshow. Subscribe to new listings or the new listing alerts. Video trailer inserts plus 16 more compelling features. And because it includes the gold SEO plan, it's our best value. And all of this for only $19.95. Call us today and ask to see available live sites and testimonials. For more information and to order, call 800-277-1316. Use your smartphone to click on the QR barcode shown or order online at ourpowersites.com. Use your credit card to secure these special offers. Don't delay. Call 800-277-1316 now. Plus, if you call today, not only can you get these special prices, but you can also get our bundled pricing for both products for only $29.95. This limited time offer will only be available for those who mention this video offer. Remember the words of Theodore Roosevelt. In any moment of decision, the best thing that you can do is the right thing. The next best thing is the wrong thing. And the worst thing that you can do is nothing. Well, the decision is yours to make. We hope to hear from you. And have a great day.